Tyson Lund with the Lund team here with Maytal, mm -hmm. my friend and also the solar queen of our area here in San Diego. And we continually get conversations and questions started around solar. So the, the intention of this is to answer some basic questions so you can be more informed and you also have a great resource that uh, full disclosure, I bought my solar system uh, through Maytal. And that wasn't easy to sell Tyson. Well, I interviewed many, many people. I think I was on six different uh, companies and groups. Uh, I'm an information gatherer. Oh, and, he grilled me. And it, lots of questions. Yep. It, it was great. So <laughs> we want to run through a few questions, uh, make it as information packed as possible and lead you to a great source because what we found is that the question is, does solar make sense? Mm -hmm. is, is different for everyone, right? Yeah, yeah, so the answer isn't, there's no yes or no answer. It really is customizable for you and your home. Every house uses electricity a little bit differently and every family is unique. So what I do is I lead you through a consultation and I do an analysis and by the end of that, it should be clear if it makes sense for you or not. How long does a consultation typically take? It's about an hour to an hour and a half depending on how many questions people have. I can spend more time with them if they need, but it's about an hour in investment and if it doesn't make sense, that's perfectly okay. And if it turns out that it does make sense, then I'll help them to take the next step. So what are some good questions? I know I had a, a ton of questions for our meeting, mm -hmm. the initial consultation, but let's say, what are some of, let's say the top five questions that you get and maybe to be helpful to start them thinking about, does this make sense for me? Well, the top five questions have to do with the top five reasons for going solar, which are the top number one most important reason is how can I save money? You know, sdg &E is in the top three most expensive utilities in the country. So help me save money. Can I save money? That's number, number one. Number two is how can I take advantage of some of the tax benefits associated with that? Could I be eligible for that? And then number three is um, will this disturb the selling or the resale value of my house? Will it complicate that transaction? So I think those are up in the top three motivators and yep. concerns that people typically have. So for me personally, I bought my system through financing. I decided that that was the best for me because I needed the tax write-off. I wanted to get that gain because there's leasing as well. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, Maytal is the best at sitting down with you and kind of helping you understand uh, how big of a system and, and how much it might be useful. For me, it was financing it, which essentially I purchased it. I realized the tax, the 30% mm -hmm. tax credit on year one, whoop, depend on the size of my system, that was a $12,000 tax credit that I realized that single year. Yeah, that was really nice, wasn't yes, it? It was very you, nice. You paid less in federal taxes. I did. Wasn't that fun? That was super fun. So much fun. I, I did it myself. Yes. So much fun. Through a and party. That is money. <laughs> Thanks for the invite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is money that you have to either pay to the federal government or through solar, you can invest it in the value of your house and in the convenience of having a lower locked in electric bill. So you're gonna be spending that money typically either one way or the other and that tax credit isn't gonna be available forever or indefinitely. So if you're thinking, oh, I'll wait another five to seven years and see how this solar thing shakes out, it might not look as good at that time because that tax credit will probably be expired at that time. Yeah. So we have a couple years left, no reason to like rush, rush, yeah. but if you are paying a high amount of federal income taxes or even just a moderate amount, which, which most of us are, this could be a way for you to keep that money and invest it in your house or put it in your pocket. Yep, and so just for an example, my overall bill was lowered about $350 per month. Uh, what I found was my payoff period, so the period that the solar system completely paid itself off was seven and a half years without doing any changes. So if I didn't, if I kept my electrical bill the exact same with the solar on it, with no money up front, in seven and a half years I own it free and then I don't have any electricity. And that was a really neat thing for me. What, what is the typical payoff period that you see on your clients? What it's usually anywhere between four and nine years. Okay. You know, if you are paying a certain amount. Um, if you want to have a nice low electric bill, you could you could take that over a 10 to 20 year period, depending gotcha. on 
what do you want to do? Do you want to have it paid off as quick as possible or do you just want to have a nice low electric bill? Yeah. Right now, I'm just keeping the low electric bill and the savings. The original plan was to have those savings and pay it down faster, but quite frankly, the system lasts for 30 years. And the great thing about Solar City is the warranties, the fact that I can move it. If I move properties in five or 10 years, I can take the solar system, I move it to the next property mm -hmm. for a very nominal fee. I think it was. Uh, something like a thousand dollars or something like yep. that and um, and the service uh, they were in and installed in one day mm -hmm. with all of the services so there's some great advantages to your company specific but I think just even getting a consultation For sure. is sure. important well so let me ask you a couple of questions as a real estate sure. agent Tyson <clears throat> when you have a house that's being sold or bought as a solar powered home what are the considerations that you and the buyer or the seller should have or do you have when they're selling a solar powered home and how do you get over it? So we, it's interesting, um, we have had proper, we have had more properties in the last two or three years that have had solar than we've ever had in our 36 years. It's become, there's so many advantages to solar now with these tax credits and, and the new technologies and such, but it's different for every house. What we try to see and analyze when we have something solar, is it owned, is it leased? Uh, what concerns may the buyer have? And what we do is we structure the conversation to, because some people, there's only 5%, is it right? 5% of houses in San Diego yeah. have solar. So there's a lot of questions still out there. As a real estate agent, do you yeah. prefer a house to have an ownership system, either whether it's financed or paid out free and clear, or a lease attached to it? I think it, it truly depends. Uh, I think if, it, if, if I had to make a decision, I would say owning it would mm -hmm. be better, but there's owning it via the financing uh, situation and so and then it's owning it outright we've had a couple properties recently that has owned it outright and that makes it really easy to transfer to the next person and then assign a value to that um, let me ask you another question sure. if you had two houses same neighborhood same square feet same amenities one had solar on it one didn't and yes. you're representing the buyer yes i think there is a value there and if all things being the same, which there are typically no two properties exactly alike, I think even on a minimum in this area and it being growing up on the coast, we are having longer, warmer summers than we've ever had. So AC is now a conversation piece that we are having regularly with buyers. And having an AC unit, even energy efficient, you're going to have three, four, five hundred a month electric bills. Yeah. So with that reality, I would say that there is greater value to a property that has solar versus one that does not. It, right. There is a value there. Right. So. so here at Solar City and Tesla, our goal really is to provide you with one-stop shop to convert to sustainable energy. So yeah, you could have a system with us and then we will ask you eventually to get a power wall to take you completely off grid and go sustainable and then eventually maybe even an electric car. So that all of your energy can be at your house on site. Love it. You never go to the gas station, you just plug right in, in your garage. Yeah, yeah I see a Tesla right there pulling up, so yeah. fitting. So great, uh, <laughs> which you can't see, but uh, it's, a, it's a black on black, it looks very cool. Um, so we want to encourage you to uh, connect with a trusted professional that, that we've used. Um, we, we're asking nothing in return, it's just that we like to promote great people who are very passionate about what they do, because we are passionate about what we do. And if you have questions for me directly, just that I, we went this route with solar. Um, you know, give us a call, send us an email, and we're gonna. Well, I do have a Lend Team promotion. Oh, okay. so if you are a Lend Team um, customer or you're hearing this via the Lend Team video, I do have a special promotion. Oh. So yeah. call me. The number will be flashed on the video screen, and mention that you you are associated with the Lend Team, and I have a special promotion for you. And Tyson, since you seem to be. So awesome. knowledgeable about solar, I want to quiz you okay. to see if you were really paying attention. Now, I did get my system in 2015. Okay, okay, well, I'll let's be just see how it's okay. handled. So when I say something, a solar term, yes. you tell me what you think of automatically. Perfect. Okay. Net metering. Cupcakes. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, net metering, uh, where you. Uh, your excess energy can be sold back to SDG&E. You remain on the grid in case you don't have uh, power generated from your solar array. Uh, so you have the access, but you have the flexibility. Great, fantastic. Okay, SDG&E rate increases. 
<laughs> Definitely. Uh, I, and please remind me of what they are. They're, uh, I'm glad I'm fixed in now, but what are the SDGs? They are right about 6% a year historically. Okay. Right now, because we have to dismantle that power plant on the coast, um, it's about 10% every year from 2016 to 2020. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Powerwall. Powerwall is uh, uh, Musk's uh, uh, solution to get off the grid. It's a battery pack in your garage that can basically store maybe a day's worth of energy or how? how... Indefinitely, because your oh. solar system keeps re keeps regenerating the battery. Okay, great. It's indefinite. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Indefinite. And Tesla. Uh, the zombie apocalypse is coming, so just that would be great. And Tesla, cool car. Okay, and Earth Day. The greatest day ever. The greatest day ever. Uh, it's so great. Lots so of holding exciting. hands. Lots of holding hands. Yes. Lots of tie-dye. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. But uh, a great day that uh, is a great day. I guess. Okay, cool. So, um, and for your questions, you know who to talk to uh, regarding real estate and all things real estate related. I take questions from past clients on does this make sense in my neighborhood. Happy to answer that at any time. All right. Thank you very much for, you. for talking with me today. Great. Thank you.